Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Hastings Middle School Sneak Peek. This information is for incoming sixth graders and new students. This video will allow you to learn more about HMS prior to coming on the first day of school. Hello, I'm Shelley Pfeiffer. I'm the principal. Hello, I am Mr. Nanfito, assistant principal. Hi, I'm Brian Vetter, assistant principal and activities director. This slide highlights our counseling staff. We have three counselors, one counselor for each grade level. We have Mrs. Jill Hopi. She's in the middle. She will be this year's sixth grade counselor. Mrs. Michelle Kimley. She's on the left in the image. She will be the seventh grade counselor. And on the right, Mrs. Stephanie Jacobson. She will be the eighth grade counselor. Some other important people here at Hastings Middle School uh, that are very helpful, very knowledgeable, and willing to help your son or daughter uh, include our school resource officer, Mr. Brad Cunningham, school nurse, Mrs. Annie Consbrook, our homeschool liaison is Mrs. Melissa Pedroza, uh, our secretarial staff includes Sarah McPherson, Carrie Lowther, and Chelsea McCann. Hastings Middle School uh, is a fairly large school um, made up of 85 staff members. Uh, this upcoming year, uh, our sixth grade class, our incoming sixth graders will have a number of 268 students, our seventh graders, 273, and our eighth grade class is at 232. Uh, we are a fairly large school, however, as each grade level is broken up into their pods. Uh, we establish essentially three smaller schools within a larger school. I uh, just wanted to take a moment to discuss traffic flow uh, at Hastings Middle School when you drop off your son or daughter or come in the afternoon to pick them up. Uh, there was recently a stoplight added at the intersection of Fifth and Marion Road a few years back. Uh, and so the Tiger Paw might represent Hastings Middle School campus here in the lower left hand corner. So if you were to approach Hastings Middle School coming from the north, we just would like you to be aware that there's only one lane in the far right hand side for turning into the, middle, the main middle school drive. Uh, the middle lane is of course a through lane. And then if you wanted to turn onto 5th Street, you, of course, would get into that left-hand lane. If you were approaching from the south, uh, you have two-lane option where if you were turning into Hastings Middle School, you would be in that left-hand lane. Uh, and, of course, if you were just continuing through on Marion Road, you would be in the right-hand lane. Here is an aerial photo of Hastings Middle School's campus. Uh, and a couple things that I'd like to highlight and draw your attention to uh, include up here in the top right hand corner of this image would be the intersection I was just speaking about on the previous slide that is fifth. And then here is Marion. So as you turn into Hastings Middle School campus, one thing we'd like you to be aware of is that this road here as you enter in is two lane traffic and it is two lane traffic until you get to essentially this point right here, which would be the turn into the circle drive. Once you go beyond this point, this road then turns into a one-way one street as you progress closer to the pods. Uh, another thing that I would like to highlight is that when you come in the morning to drop off your son or daughter, we would encourage you uh, to use this uh, parking lot here on the northeast side of the building. That is available for drop off in the morning as well as pick up in the afternoon. However, if you choose to continue uh, into the one lane, one way road, uh, if you are dropping off your son or daughter, uh, 
we would just ask that you pull over to the far right hand side or to the far left hand side. That way you are able to allow for traffic to continue and flow in that middle lane. Um, when cars end up stopping in that middle lane, traffic can actually back up all the way um, back onto Marion Road. Um, so a little bit about the building here. Here we have the gymnasiums. This would be the main office area, uh, our commons area, and then down here are our pods. This would be the sixth grade pod, the seventh grade pod, and the eighth grade pod. So if you are coming to drop off your son or daughter for sixth grade, the 6A team door is here, 6B is here, 7A is here, 7B, and then of course our eighth grade pod, 8A, and 8B is there. Helpers for Hastings Middle School students include uh, principals, secretaries, counselors, student council reps, teachers, cafeteria staff, nurse, custodial staff, media specialists, and our paraeducators. All of these people are very helpful and very knowledgeable individuals and are here to help students uh, reach their potentials. Our teams um, are broken down into six core classes where we offer math, English, social studies, reading, science, and win time. Win stands for what I need. That is our intervention period uh, where students are able to receive extra instruction, uh, extra support for content or skills that they may uh, need some assistance with. Uh, some other offerings include vocal music and PE, band and orchestra. ELO stands for extended learning opportunity. And then with our exploratory classes, uh, we offer art, family and consumer science, keyboarding, and world cultures. Uh, I'd just like to take a moment to give you an example of a typical day, uh, a little bit of a timeline at Hastings Middle School. Morning supervision at Hastings Middle School starts at 7.45 a.m. One thing that we would like to highlight is that, or, or encourage you, is to please drop off your son or daughter at 7.45 a.m. or after. Before that time, there is no adult supervision. For students eating morning breakfast, morning breakfast runs from 7.45 a.m. to 8.05, and that is in the Hastings Middle School Commons area. We would ask that sixth and seventh grade students eating breakfast enter the main middle school doors on the east side of the building and eighth grade students eating breakfast could enter on the west doors um, found on the back side of the building. Uh, the entrance bell for students uh, to head towards their pods is 8.05 a.m. and we ask that students enter through their grades pod doors. The tardy bell then rings at 8.10 a.m. Our dismissal bell on a typical day is 3.35 p.m. or at 2.35 p.m. on Wednesdays. We also offer an afternoon snack for sixth grade students. Uh, we offer this only to sixth grade students due to their early lunch time every day. Uh, snacks uh, carry a cost of 35 cents each or three for a dollar. Of course, students are always welcome to bring uh, healthy snacks from home as well. Some activities that are offered here at Hastings Middle School uh, in two broad areas include leadership and fine arts. Uh, in the leadership category, we have student ambassadors as well as student council. Offerings in the fine arts department include drama, vocal music, minor sixth. Minor sixth is a select vocal group, dissonance, show choir, band, jazz and pet band, and orchestra. And the items uh, highlighted in the color blue are available for sixth grade. Um, student ambassadors, dissonance and show choir, students uh, are able to participate in those activities once they reach seventh and eighth grade. 
Some other activities at Hastings Middle School uh, in the area of academics and special interests are listed here. Uh, these offering, this is a general um, list of offerings available at Hastings Middle School. And from year to year are dependent upon student interest uh, as well as sponsor availability. The Nebraska Schools Activities Association uh, determines that athletics are available for seventh and eighth grade students, uh, not sixth grade students. So once sixth graders reach the seventh and eighth grade years, they are uh, uh, available to participate in the following athletics, cross country, football, volleyball, basketball, and wrestling. And here at Hastings Middle School, when they reach eighth grade, they will be able to participate in track. This slide is listing activity requirements for students participating in athletics. Uh, so this slide specifically would not pertain to incoming sixth graders. Um, however, if you are a new student to the district and, and you will be in seventh or eighth grade, some requirements in order to participate in athletics include a proof of a physical exam, the purchase of an activity ticket, and that activity ticket also uh, will provide your son or daughter admission to Hastings Middle School athletics and activities, as well as signing a parent consent form, which can be found in our main office. Hello everyone, Mr. Nanfito here, Assistant Principal. I am going to continue uh, with the health information from our school nurse, Mrs. Consbrook. This is just a reminder in regards to um, health information that is important for parents and students to know prior to coming to school. First, there are no required immunization updates or physicals for sixth graders unless the student is new to the state of Nebraska. If they have been informed by their elementary nurse that they are not up to date with immunizations, or should they receive any immunizations over the summer, they may turn them into the nurse's office. Two, special health needs require yearly individual plans for asthma, diabetes, seizures, or other chronic health care needs. Blank forms are available from either your doctor or at the nurse's office. Parents whose students take medication at school should make arrangements with the school nurse the week before school starts. Any students whose parent or guardian wants them to carry their emergency medication, such as an EpiPen or an asthma, asthma inhaler, must sign the appropriate forms in the nurse's office. And lastly, regarding health information, students are not allowed to carry medications on campus. For the safety of all students, Tylenol and ibuprofen, vitamins, OTC, cold meds, daily prescribed medications must be signed for and obtained through the nurse's office. Do not send medications with students in a baggie. Staff is available before school to administer morning medications if needed. Going to further my uh, discussion here on student resources. Student resources is an, is an important place on our school website for students to go to um, for them to access uh, specific things. Here on the student resources page, you can see there is the social responsibility report form, the school safety report form, catch a counselor, team pages for each team that students may be on here at Hastings Middle School, and also an exploratory page. For the team pages, if you want information regarding teachers on the team or other events and things going on for the teams or other exploratory teachers, please use the links on this page to find that information. Continuing on with the social responsibility report form and the school safety form, these are two forms that are linked to our website and are important for students to use to report uh, situations or issues uh, that they may know about. 
Uh, these reports can be um, presented or uh, put in uh, to our admin team and counselors, and they can also be reported anonymously. Um, with this report, with the school, so with the social responsibility report form, if a student is having issues or ongoing social issues with another student um, and can't report it immediately to a staff member, uh, a teacher, a counselor, a principal, or other staff, the student is encouraged to use this uh, report form online on our school website. The school safety report is important to uh, use uh, in the situation that a student is reporting uh, unsafe behavior or other details about a certain event um, that could take place um, here at Hastings Middle School. We encourage students or parents, if they decide to use this form, to include as much information as possible so we can work through the issue and have as many details to go off of um, in regard to the situation. Lastly, this is a reminder in regard to these report forms is that anything happening outside of school, outside of the regular school hours of 8 a.m. to 4 p.m., if it is an emergency, we ask you to call 911 outside of those hours. These forms are checked during the regular school hours. Here I'd like to talk about our positive behavior interventions and supports. This is our PBIS program. Our mission is, the mission of the Tiger Way is to establish and support a safe and positive school culture that enhances social, emotional, and academic success through teaching and recognizing positive appropriate behavior. Through PBIS, the Tiger Way, and our ROAR expectations, we teach students appropriate positive behavior. Students will carry around a ROAR card, and when students are seen displaying positive appropriate behavior or meeting the expectations of ROAR, staff members will ask the student for their ROAR card to be signed. Throughout each quarter, students will earn the opportunity for rewards and reinforcements to engage in for their positive behavior. Our ROAR stands for Respect, Ownership, Achievement, and Resourcefulness. So some dress code highlights, um, no inappropriate references on clothing, um, no saggy pants or unless you have a belt to keep them up. Um, the length of shorts and skirts must be appropriate to cover undergarments or where undergarments would be. Um, same with the holes in the jeans. They can have holes in their jeans or shorts. It just has to make sure they're covered um, the, where undergarments would be. Students must wear their school issued ID and lanyard while in school. Um, cell phones are permitted on school property, but they must remain off and out of sight during the school day. However, if a student needs to use the phone, they can come to the office. We've had students come to the office and ask if they could use their own phone to pull up a parent number, and we will allow that. Um, and then the handbook has a lot more information about these policies. Um, failing is not an option, so we call it ZAP. Zeros are not permitted, so we do everything we absolutely can to assure a student can get a grade um, for their assignments and assessments. Um, they also can retake assessments if they do whatever the teacher does to show relearning or whatever the teacher requires to show relearning um, if they don't get the grade that they hope for on an assessment. Um, there are homework clubs offered. Um, some people call it 10th period. Um, that's until four on the regular day until three o'clock on Wednesdays where they can stay and get extra academic support. They don't have to be assigned a 10th period if they just want to stay because they know they need help on like a math assignment or something. They can always stay. And then we offer academic enrichment um, weekly right now. It's on Thursdays most times um, from 3.30 to 5 where, again, students can get help make up assessments or do anything um, that will help their um, them get caught up. Um, we use PBIS, and I know Mr. Manfito talked about the ROAR, Respect, Ownership, Achievement, Resourcefulness. Um, we also use a 
best support system. So if a student's having a hard time, we'll teach them the social skill. If it's still not able to apply it or still something's going on, they can they might get sent to a buddy room um, and then process with that teacher after school. As long as they process with the teacher, um, then the next day is a brand new day. Um, and then um, that's, we use that 10th period for that problem solving between the teacher and student to figure out what's going on. Some other facts about HMS, um, kids will get two lockers. They get a, a locker in their pod and then they have a PE locker. Um, they are required to dress out in PE um, with appropriate attire for working out and, and tennis shoes and stuff. Um, they have a three minute passing time, which when they're in the pod, it's plenty more time than they need. It's time enough to go to the bathroom and, and still make it to your next class. When they go to explore classes, um, those first weeks of every quarter, we have as many staff as we can supporting them and showing them where to go because that's the only time they're really out of their pod. So they don't have to worry about getting lost. Um, we have our supply list on our website. I really encourage you to go to the website anytime you have, if you're wondering about anything, because we really keep that updated and it has a lot of information on it. Um, and students will have ELO if they don't have band or orchestra. Um, and that's just another time to help them get their work done. A teacher is available to help guide them through their work. Um, we also have what we call a win time, which is, stands for what I need. And um, so if a kid, let's say they need an extension in science because they're just really achieving high, that would be a time for that. Or if they needed an intervention in reading or math, that would be time for that. So we place them according to what their data shows that they need. Um, important information and dates. So Chromebook checkout and school pictures will be the first day of school. And then you should have received a mailing. If you didn't, please call the school with all these papers, um, these different colored papers that we would like to be returned either open house or even better the first day of school. Um, and then you'll get a picture packet by Tally Creative, which is our new picture company. And that's all we have for you. So we can't wait to see you on the first day of school.